Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this session, I'll be discussing on chapter number 3, Human Reproduction, around 30 to 35 multiple choice questions. So, let us start with the session. Question, sperms are produced in, it is option number 1, seminiferous tubules. Next question, a male axillary duct in human is, it's option number 3, retatestis, epididymis, vas efferens, vas deferens. Next question, sperms are transported from the testis to the outside through, it is option number 4, urethra. Next question, a male axillary gland in humans is, it is option number 2, prostate, seminal vesicle, bulbourethral gland. Next question, which of the following is not a male axillary reproductive gland? And it is option number 4, epididymis. Next question, the release of sperms from the seminiferous tubule is called, it is option number 4, spermiation. Next question, Spermiation is a process of release of sperms from and it is option number one, seminiferous tubules. Next question, which one of the following in human beings has 23 chromosomes and it is option number three, secondary oocyte or secondary spermatocyte. Next question, which of the following cells is haploid and the option is three, secondary spermatocytes or spermatid or secondary oocyte or polar body. Next question, cell found in interstitial space of testis outside the seminiferous tubules is, it's option number 2, Leydig cell. Next question, the target cells of luteinizing hormone in males is, it's option number 2, Leydig cells. Next question, testicidon or androgen is secreted by, it's option number 2, Leydig cells or interstitial cells. Next question, the Leydig cells are the secretory source of, it's option number 2, androgens. Next question, the Leydig cells are stimulated to secrete androgens by, it's option number 1, LH, that is luteinizing hormone. Next question, Sertoli cells are stimulated by DASH to secrete certain factors that help in the process of spermiogenesis. And it is option number 3, FSH, follicle stimulating hormone. Next question, the number of spermatozoa produced from a single primary spermatocyte during the spermatogenesis is, it's option number 3, 4. Next question, if a germ cell in a female gonad and a germ cell in a male gonad begin meiosis simultaneously, what will be the ratio of ova and sperms produced? And it is option number 3, 1 is to 4. Next question, how many sperms and ova will be produced from 25 primary sp spermatocytes and 25 primary oocytes respectively? And it is option number 2, 100 sperms and 25 ova. Next question, during oogenesis, the divisions are mitotic except during the formation of, and it is option number 2, secondary oocyte. Next question, menstrual cycle stops around 50 years of age in human female and it is called as option number 1, menopause. Next question, which one of the following is correctly matched with the time period during a normal menstrual cycle? And it is option number 1, regeneration of endometrium 5th to 13th day. Next question, LH surge during menstrual cycle occurs on the, it is option number 3, 14th day. Next question, ovulation occurs during it is option number 1, 14th day of menstruation. Next question, follicular phase of menstrual cycle is other name of, and it is option number 2, proliferative phase. Next question, which of the following is not a function of placenta? And it is option number 2, secretion of oxytocin during parturition. Next question, hormone secreted by the ovary in the later phase of pregnancy is, it is option number 1, relaxin. Next question, the embryo's heart is formed after dash month or months of pregnancy and the option is number 1, that is 1. Next question, most of the major organ systems of the fetus are formed by the end of and it is option number 4, 12 weeks. Next question, the first movement of the fetus and appearance of hair on its head are usually observed during which month of pregnancy? It is option number 4, 5th month. Next question, the body of the fetus is covered with hair, eyelids separate and eyelashes are formed by the end of, it is option number 3, 24 weeks. And coming to the last question of the session, that is, fetal ejection reflex in human female is induced by, it is option number 2, fully developed fetus and placenta. Thank you for watching my video, stay tuned for more such videos.